Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the background, I'm not at home. I'm not in my usual filming setup. I am indeed in France in our little chateau. That's what I'm calling it. Although it's more of a cabin in the middle of the woods sort of vibe, but I love it. If you haven't already seen my video where I explain why I'm coming to France, how long I'm staying, plans, etc., then check out that video. But for now, I wanted to share some new beauty bits. I will, of course, be sharing travel vlogs, my travel beauty favourites, some French beauty favourites as well. I'm so excited to, like, go to the French pharmacies. But for now, we are talking about the Huda Beauty Colour Block Palette. Now, I know that these are really bold, and for some people that are maybe not experienced in makeup or don't wear a lot of makeup, this might look very intimidating, but let me reassure you, for spring, summer, like these colors are absolutely beautiful and you don't have to wear all of them on the eye, where I've seen a lot of people on TikTok just using the whole nine shades, when in actual fact, you could just pick up one or two and you're good. And what I really like about these is that they are kind of contrasting colors um especially in the color wheel as well and this blue here so this one is the orange purple color block obsessions palette and then this is something that again i absolutely adore these colors but so afraid to like wear them every day but this is what i'm going to do in this video is just show you like how you can wear these for every day more user friendly as well like you don't need to be a pro makeup artist or a famous tiktok star to be able to get this palette and play around with it because I know for instance this blue green palette these are like my mum's favorite colors to wear but she's not the most experienced at doing her makeup but she you know I know she would love this so I'll obviously be teaching her how to use this palette as well so as you can see you get nine shades in here and I'll first just talk about the orange and purple color block obsessions palette so you have a mixture of mattes and shimmers and different formulas in here as well so you've got this new one which I've never really used before it's called cake bake shade which means I guess Huda's kind of she's embossed it in the in the shadow so that basically it gets activated with water so what you need to do is just spray your brush with a setting spray a bit of water and then mix into that palette and then maybe use it like an eyeliner use it as a base for like a shimmer to really intensify that um, and then you've got this shade here which is one palette split into two with two different types of shimmers that you could use alone which i have done or you can use together and you get this really beautiful like you'll see in the swatches comes up this really beautiful two-toned color where you've got the purple and then the orange shimmers coming through and it's really really beautiful i have to say that some of these colors in terms of payoff some of them are better than others and again you'll see that in the swatches on my arm some of these colors i've only gone in once and some and like they the trail off is just very weak and then some i've just one swipe and you get that bold intense color um these are also 29 pounds each i believe and you can get them online or in harrods or anywhere like that i was as you can see i've used this one quite a lot because i really love orange and i love purple and versus the blue green which i've not yet had to try but i really want to bring these to france because these are like really bold colors that just work well under the sunlight as well i wouldn't say like i would do this makeup that i'm currently wearing to go to the office but if you are on holiday then this is great if you're going out for a night out going out with the girls for brunch then maybe this look will suit you equally just pick up one of these shades if you really want to like lift your mood lift your complexion maybe just go for one of the oranges all over the eye um, put a nice eyeliner on and mascara as well and you're good to go so without further ado i will show you how i did get this look and um, give you my thoughts on them as well
guys so this is the finished look that you would have seen up close and personal and all that I really did was I put eyeliner all around my eye just to really frame it I'm in that mood at the moment where you know I kind of went away from eyeliner now I'm back to using eyeliner because I just feel like it makes my eyes look a bit bigger it's almost like you know you frame a painting and it just gives it that overall you know oomph that's what I feel like eyeliner is doing at the moment for my eyes so I'm liking it and my hay fever hasn't been affecting my you know eyes that much so I have been using more eyeliner and then of course mascara I have to say with these eyeshadows when you're playing around with it sometimes it can look scary but once you put the mascara on and I think the eyeliner as well it really does just bring in all the colors brings in the whole look as well and I also did get a bit of fallout because I was being quite vigorous because some of the shades were weak so I had to go back and really intensify it and then I did get some fallout so just be mindful of that maybe do your eye makeup first and then do your complexion but of course for the purposes of this video I did put on makeup so yeah I had to just go back and clean it up a little bit but apart from that it's absolutely fine there's colors in here that I didn't think I would like as much that I do I thought this shade, lilac shade here I thought I would fall in love with but actually I just find it's very weak it's very blah um just not really for me this yellow shade here I was completely turned off but now that I've tried it and used it I really really like this yellow and some of the shimmers as well the cake bake I'm neither here or there like I don't really like use eyeliner that much but it's a good option to have kind of an eyeliner activated shadow well no a water activate a water activated shadow in a palette to give you versatility so I think that's great if you like to use it but I feel like there's other shades here that kind of make up for this one anyway and for £29 I do believe this is more of the affordable side of the Huda Beauty palettes especially the big ones so if you really want to dip your toe into colour into the Huda Beauty brand then I think these obsessions palettes are great I have done a whole other video actually of the chocolate obsessions trio um, again I will link that if you want to see that absolutely stunning I really really like them I would probably put them above in terms of versatility ahead of this but these are great if you don't have these colours in your kit. They are bold, they make a statement, and if you don't have them, I think they're worth the money. So what I'm gonna do now is switch over and show you a easy look that you can create with the blue-green palette, and I'll be back with you in a tick. with this palette I 
think this colorway just really lifts like dark eyes so if you feel like you can't pull this off and you always think i need to go for my bronzy my purple tones for dark eyes like dark brown eyes this will just make it pop i absolutely love it um i did notice there is a little bit of fallout that i haven't yet like cleared up but only just the slightest bit and i've noticed like this yellow kind of green shade it's like a is it a lemon i would say it's more of a yellow lemon color it's really beautiful like i would have that all over the eye with mascara and I would actually be happy with that. Um, even with the green, kind of blended it into that. So beautiful. Oh my God, and these shimmers here are so pigmented. I just put them underneath the eye and it just gives it a little bit of twinkle that like when it catches under the light. Also just have to say, like, I'm really sorry about the darkness. It's about to rain here in the south of France. So it's gone very dark indeed. But I still wanted to show you this look because I think it's actually really beautiful. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Are you team, are you team blue green or are you team orange purple? I think I'm swaying more for this. It's just something so different. I have nothing like it in my makeup kit. So keeping these for sure. So if you guys are interested in shopping these palettes, I will leave them, leave them linked down below in case you guys want to shop. Thank you so much guys for watching and bearing with me with the transition of the space, the lighting, but hopefully you guys can see me, you can hear me really well because I forgot to bring my mic. Um, and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like to see while I'm here on the Cote d'Azur. I think that's how you say it. Cote d'Azur. Cote d'Azur? Or I'm just gonna say the French Riviera. It's probably easy for me. So let me know what other looks you'd like to see from me. Maybe a French beauty makeup tutorial, something like that. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video.